Uh, in this video, I'm going to try to make a paper can, basically. Um, I actually started with this can and the one that I cut the label off of a little while ago. I had the label and I decided, let me just see what happens if I put the label on, on the paper. Is it going to fit? And it fit, but it didn't look like I could get my top in without kind of going diagonally. So um, I thought I would use the can as the circle because I couldn't find a compass around. So I'm going to take the same can. What I did was I took the same can and I put, I put a circle on the page over here. And then I drew a line. Um, I didn't worry about the length of the, line, of the line yet. I know that the length of the line has to be the circumference of the circle, but I just, just drew the line. And then I measured a distance between here and here. I didn't, I didn't bother with this distance. See, it doesn't match anymore. Um, but I, I did a distance between those two and uh, made those two lines parallel. And then I popped another circle. Now, if you think about it, did it matter if I put the circle here or over here? Uh, so that's something that I, that I want you to consider um, is, you know, does the circle have to go directly opposite it or not? Uh, and um, here, I'm going to keep going here, but I'm going to pause so I show you the next step. Um, basically, I'm going to, well, here, no, hold on. Before I pause, let me share this with you. Uh, share this. Okay. So we're still recording. Should work out nicely. This should come up. Okay, so here's my here's my paper so far, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the diameter of the circle. Looks like about oh, I got to get my zero mark over here. Looks like about seven point. I'm going to call it seven point four centimeters or. 74 millimeters. Um, so D is equal to 74 millimeters. Okay. And then I'm going to take the calculator. I'm going to figure out the circumference. So I'm going to take the 74 and multiply that by pi. So 74 uh, pi. And that's uh, 232 millimeters. So the circumference is 232 millimeters, which means this line has to be 232 millimeters. So 232 millimeters or 23.2 centimeters. So 23.2 centimeters, 23.2 centimeters here and here. And that's going to give me the ends of my label. Now I'm actually going to cut it a little larger because it'll make it easier to tape, but I am going to mark the ends of the label or the lateral sides of the can. And now I have a figure on the page to do my cutout. I'm, I'm going to cut in close to here, but close enough that I can kind of fold it over. I'm not going to cut all the way to here. I'm going to cut kind of where my magic marker is. All right. And um, I'm going to pause it and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Hmm, can I pause? It will. Okay, so I've cut out my shape. Now, a couple things about how I cut my shape out. Uh, one, I had this measurement uh, written here, and I decided to actually write it on the inside of the box so it winds up on the label, which is nice because then we can look at the diameter and the, um, and the circumference together. And now, and, and, I, and I cut it out in such a way that um, I left, I left, I get, I get backwards because it's not a mirror. I left some end over here past the line, but this one I cut right on the line. Um, and that will enable, enable us to fold it over. So I'm gonna start by folding my top so that that kind of sits in there and folding my bottom right along Right along the side there. Right. Kind of looks like Mickey Mouse ish. Right. And I'm going to get a piece of tape to line up the end right on that. 
right in the line that I drew at the calculated length. So we'll see how that goes. Oops, I let go of it already. I'm excited. I didn't try this before. This is a, this is a first take video. Just doing it freehand. Okay, I have that lined up nicely. Put a piece of tape on it. And the circle actually fits pretty well. Not bad, not bad. Now, notice the, can, the cans kind of open up in different directions, the tops and the bottoms, uh, because I didn't line them up, but that's, that's okay. They still fit in the top and the bottom. One of the things about making a net is deciding, can things go in different places or not? I figured in this place it could go any way we wanted it to go. Right. So there's making the can.